Hey there. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to create and use Moto Secure Folder for apps, photos, videos, music, or documents. So we're using the Moto Edge 50 Fusion for this video, but this process will be the same for any Moto Series phone like EG Stylus or Razer running on Android 15. Now to create Moto Secure Folder, you can either access it from the App folder or if you can't find it here, just open up settings, scroll down for security and privacy, scroll down till the end to more security and privacy, and keep scrolling down until you find the secure folder option. Just go ahead, tap on it, and then just keep following the prompts one after another, and then just log in with your Gmail account. Your currently logged in account will appear in here. Just tap on it if you want to use it, and then press OK. And then you'll just have to create a pattern, pin, or password for your secure folder. You'll be prompted to use your finger pin, which you can set up later as well. Now your secure folder is created. Let's check out some settings. Just tap on this hamburger menu. First, if you enter the disguise icon and enable it, you can choose from several icons so that your secure folder is hidden in plain sight. So let me choose this one and then just type in any name to disguise it and then tap on the tick sign. If you enter stealth mode, you can choose to hide the folder from the Moto secure folder and from your app tray so that it's completely hidden from everywhere on your phone. You can only access that again from the settings we have shown you earlier. In manage files, you can add photos, videos, audio, or documents to your secure folder from its original destination. Just select the files or photos that you want to add. Select them. You can either move and delete the original version or copy it from its destination. I want to move and then press OK. And similarly, in transfer from secure folder section, you can copy or move them back to their original location just like the same way. In authentication settings, you can change secure folder lock, use fingerprints, or make the pattern invisible. Now, in more settings, a few of the important one is first secure folder timeout, like how often you need to press the pin or pattern to enter the secure folder. The first one is the more secure one and the last one is the list. In file section, all the apps that you've added to secure folder will appear. In account section, you can change the Gmail account that you've used to create your secure folder. And lastly, from delete secure folder section, you can delete the entire secure folder after putting down the password or PIN, whatever you've created. And in USB transfer, if it's enabled, you can directly add or transfer any files from your USB device to your secure folder. Now, if you enable the use Wi-Fi security, it will block Wi-Fi and prompt you to use mobile data whenever you try to use an app that's added to your secure folder. Now, if you go back to the secure folder app dashboard, by tapping on this plus sign, you can add apps or files like photos and videos we've already shown you to the secure folder. So we're going to add apps now. Press add apps. And from here, select the apps that you want to add to your secure folder. When you're done selecting, press on this tick sign and press got it. Now, all the apps you have added in here will show up both outside and inside your folder. If you want to use dual apps, you can log in with different accounts on both of them. If you want to lock or hide the apps, all you have to do is just uninstall the app version that's outside. And you can still find those apps inside your secure folder. And also by tapping on Play Store in here, you can directly install any app only inside secure folder. And all the stuff you have moved to your secure folder, you can find it inside the files app on your secure folder. And then whenever you want to enter the secure folder, depending on the settings you have changed, just tap on the icon, put down your PIN or password, and that's it. You will enter your secure folder. If you're no longer needed, apart from the way you can delete, we have shown you before, you can also delete it from settings. Go back to the secure folder settings. And from here, you can choose to delete secure folder if you want. So that's pretty much the basics that you can use secure folder on Motorola. Thanks for watching.